Hi guys, today I want to do the review of my Donelli side sword and here it is. So, try to get closer, let's see. So, this, as I said, is a Marco Donelli's side sword. Um, I bought it almost uh, four months ago now. The sword uh, weighs uh, almost uh, 1.3 kilo, so quite a uh, heavy side sword, but uh, is uh, perfectly in line with uh, a lot of uh, museum uh, finds. So it's a uh, it's a quite realistic uh, quite realistic weight. The blade is uh, 95 centimeter, which is uh, a perfect length in my opinion to. Uh, um, let's say a transitional rate, uh, transitional side sword from uh, from the classic side sword that is around uh, 90 centimeter to uh, the the proper rapier which is uh, uh, 100 or 110 uh, uh, centimeters uh, length uh, blade. The um, flexibility is perfect, as you can see. Uh, it has just the right amount uh, of flexibility to be safe so you can thrust properly into your opponent without uh, hurting him and at the same time it's rigid enough that you can uh, properly feel the bind and uh, uh, doing uh, the techniques in a correct way the, it's, uh, it's balanced it's balance point, it's uh, at 10 cm right here This is also very similar to uh, real, uh, real side swords. The blade is uh, 30 mm in uh, width. Uh, I opted for uh, this uh, 30 mm because uh, uh, I thought that uh, 35 mm, that is the standard for Marco, would be a little bit, uh, a little bit on, the, on the heavy side. Uh, so, in order to simulate uh, uh, a proper uh, uh, sharp uh, side sword uh, feel, I opted for the 30 mm and I think uh, I made uh, a great choice. Uh, a great choice because uh, I, it's, it's perfect in my opinion. I don't know if I can show you, but uh, here on the blade, there's uh, Marco Danelli's uh, stamp, which is a, a, a nice touch. And by the way, if you want, uh, Marco can uh, also engrave uh, the fullers uh, with uh, his name or uh, whatever you want. Uh, let's talk uh, about the guard. The guard, as you can see, is a full uh, developed uh, hilt. Uh, at uh, first glance, uh, it uh, could um, seem to be a German style but uh, uh, this, uh, the, the original one of uh, this side sword is in a North Italian museum, uh, I think it's in Veneto, but I don't remember exact, uh, exactly where. And uh, it has a uh, uh, leaf ornament uh, in a pure Italian style, I, I will put uh, uh, a photo of the original. So, a fully developed hilt uh, is uh, very close to the original, uh, proportion-wise. In fact, uh, it just uh, perfectly fill, fill my hand, as you can see. The grip uh, is as the perfect length, as you can see. You cannot... Uh, you can barely fit uh, a large size glove, uh, uh, so uh, lacrosse gloves, but uh, here in this part, you will find that it just interfere with the proper wrist cut and so on, so I don't recommend. And uh, as you can see, uh, the, the hand is uh, very well protected uh, anyway. As uh, for, for the grip, I chosen um, to replicate um, wire twisted, uh, because uh, almost every original uh, I saw 
was made was made like that and uh, I think uh, that uh, it also helps with uh, with the balance because uh, you basically you add metal also on the hilt so it uh, helps to to have the right feel when you when you swing uh, when you when you cut uh, the the pommel has this uh, nice rounded shape which is very cool and as uh, uh, every every Marco sword it has a bolt to to tighten it up to tighten it up uh, that's uh, probably the only thing I don't like so much uh, about this sword because uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, this uh, this nut can be difficult to tighten uh, because it's round as you can see so you have to uh, wrap it in leather or a cloth and then uh, you can tighten it up but uh, aside from this uh, 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 it doesn't. Uh, it's still uh, very tight, so I <laughs> I cannot complain. What else can I say? Yes. Uh, how is the f the feel of this uh, sword? Uh, when I ordered this sword, I wanted uh, a very realistic sword. So um, I did. I didn't choose. Uh, a particularly light model side sword but I wanted uh, a proper feel a proper uh, authentic side sword and Marco I think is uh, is, is doing great jobs with uh, with this kind of sword because uh, even if if they they are not perfectly matched with the with the originals uh, because of course they are flexible they're not sharp Marco it's uh, a great uh, great maker because uh, he can uh, just make you a sword with the exact same feeling as a proper sword uh, and uh, maintaining the all the safety things that we want so the point is very thick as you can see so it doesn't need to be rolled over uh, and you can also add the rubber tips uh, quite easily if you want yes as I said this is a very realistic sword so at first uh, glance especially if you're uh, if you come from for example uh, a Peter Regan 8 side sword this sword will feel uh, extremely heavy extremely tiring to uh, to, to use uh, especially, especially on the on the wrist. Uh, after uh, ten minutes, uh, you will feel your arm that uh, uh, is going to fall apart. But uh, if you get used to it, you will feel that uh, that it wants to move in a certain way. And when you when you understand how the sword wants to move it's just fantastic to use uh, in particular you can uh, really feel what this sword wants to do and uh, and of course is to thrust rather than uh, than doing extended uh, cutting so uh, this sword uh, I actually think that uh, rather than uh, uh, let's say the classic Bolognese masters it's perfect uh, for uh, let's say Agrippa, Di Grassi uh, it could uh, also be used like a early form of, of, of rapier uh, so you can uh, even doing some uh, Fabrice uh, uh, Giganti techniques of course is uh, a little bit too short but uh, it has uh, the same feeling so you can uh, really understand how, this, uh, how those techniques work another thing I forgot the, the blade section is uh, in the forte uh, is a, an hexagonal section but here in the forte the, the section is also hollow ground 
so Marco is doing uh, is able to to remove uh, a lot of material from the blade and uh, uh, being uh, so thick on the ricasso it's uh, six millimeters I think it can maintain uh, a, a really good uh, stiff forte but without adding uh, too much weight uh, price wise uh, those uh, this um, Danelli sword uh, vary between uh, I think 400 pound and 600 pound, uh, which uh, are roughly 500 euros to 700 euros. Uh, let's say. However, uh, the the price vary um, depending on uh, on the de the details that. Uh, that you choose if you ask Marco to create a beautiful uh, ornate pattern of course it will cost more but uh, uh, I think Marco can basically do whatever whatever things uh, you want so uh, write to him because he's a very nice guy with a lot of patience uh, his waiting list uh, I think that uh, they are right now from nine uh, months to, to almost a year, but uh, I don't know if uh, uh, if they're still like that. I think I forgot to, to add how can we compare the, the Donelli with uh, with my previous Reading A side sword. Um, I I should say that, uh, uh, of course, uh, I think the, the Donnelli is, uh, is the better, but, uh, however, I think that uh, the Revignier also have uh, some merits in particular. I think that uh, the, the, the Revignier is better suited for beginners, uh, because as I said in my previous review, uh, I think that uh, uh, Having a lighter sword could uh, help in, uh, for example, just uh, just finish, uh, just to finish the uh, the lessons because it's uh, it's more uh, it's lighter, and uh, you don't uh, have to uh, worry about uh, proper mechanics when striking, and. Uh, so you can just learn the basic patterns for the techniques and then apply them to to the proper tool. Uh, however, this uh, this kind of uh, full hilt here, uh, being uh, let's say from uh, late uh, 15th century, uh, sorry, late uh, 16th century, it's not particularly suited to do, for example, um, a sword and buckler fencing because the hilt uh, will, uh, will just get stuck in the buckler and I think that uh, a simple hilt like this uh, will be better for, uh, for this kind of discipline and by the way I use this uh, to, uh, to do sword and buckler uh, Bolognese, Bolognese sword and buckler so, uh, I think that both uh, both this sword have their uh, their space and they are worth to to be bought. Uh, however, of course, uh, if you want uh, a very realistic sword by the Donelli, if you want a very light uh, and uh, cheap sword, and uh, let's say um, uh, suited for a heavy sparring or tournament by the the Regnier. Okay, I think uh, I've said everything. So this was this was my my review of this uh, of this sword. I I love it. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I think it's uh, probably the, the best side sword I've handled so far. And I think Marco is uh, the man to go if you want a proper side sword or a proper rapier. So to the next video. Bye.